The single most successful aspect of the Creative Audio Research Project was the incorporated research information into the interview-styled narrative. The audio allows listeners to immerse into another world with fictional characters whom, without explicitly telling the audience, are in an interview process, expressing knowledge on the participatory culture of YouTube through both consumers and creators. Including an introduction allowed us to address the themes and follow up with two characters exploring the topic further with facts acquired from various academic readings. The single most problematic aspect of the audio project was the generating of audio that was free and online, without any copyright audio overlaid on each audio piece. Additional to this was then merging the audio clips together on the Adobe Audition application that our group wasn't familiar with. Working online as a group meant that it was difficult to contact each other and coordinate our pieces, as well as spreading information to each other of where an audio piece came from. Hence the dilemma of finding pieces of audio that worked for us all. However, we overcame this with eventually uploading our parts to the group folder and editing it together in a way that it flows. In researching the idea of participatory culture, it was clear that it links to the key theoretical concepts about YouTube, along with three other concepts of cultural and technical affordances, blogging and YouTube celebrity, and the mystery of the algorithm. Investigated by authors Dracopolau and Gandini in their article titled Researching YouTube in which was discovered that the participatory culture of YouTube goes hand in hand with all concepts, especially the algorithm. As participatory culture is categorized as user-generated content, where Arthur states that it is a phenomenon initiated by the interactive affordances of Web 2.0 and the widespread availability of portable video cameras. The platform is suggested to be a self-generating broadcasting process that involves contributions from users and creators. The single most important affordance of audio-based media is the immersive storytelling aspect it conveys, in which can portray stronger emotions than other types of media would. The delivery of messages in an audio-based concept allows the listeners to engage with the content on a deeper level, integrating personal experiences and imaginations to develop a story given limited resources, touching on different senses within a person. The audio we produce allowed the audience to dig into their imagination and create a timeline in which each character may have been set using previous experience to consolidate the themes and emotions we aim to reproduce, while encompassing actualities into the setting to further the audience experience with a learning outcome. The most vital thing I learned in the making process about collaboration is the importance of communication. As sharing ideas and creating works that are complete and flow to the next part flawlessly is important. Being able to communicate with my group members was a large factor when completing the project. We advised each other on our contacts in the first meeting, allowing us to message at any time. This will help me in my broader development as a media practitioner, as I will further communicate time of meetings, align schedules and create a piece that is equally contributed to. As I was the only one in my group who had a rough cut completed by the week 8 class, the feedback was mainly pointed at the ending of our audio project, where, without the beginning sections, created some confusion towards the audience. However, it was mentioned that the audio was hard to hear with multiple voices in the background, and I was advised to have the volume alter when speaking to the main character. The feedback was greatly appreciated as I reconsidered the parts of the audio, in which I created another script where I spoke over the background as well as shifting the soundtrack to sections of the audio, whilst including evidence of participatory culture that backed up the prominent audio, as well as adding background music to the character's voice, allowing a more immersive world as the audience are able to envision the concept of participatory culture within YouTube without relying on visuals.